the Glock Model 19X. Let's check it out. The Model 19X was Glock's submission to the U.S. Military Handgun Trials, or the Modular Handgun System. Uh, of course, we know that Sig Sauer won the contract with their Model P320. Uh, the Glock was a really close second and still being contested by Glock at this time. But one of the great things about this handgun is it led to the Gen 5. But there are still a lot of differences with this pistol from the Gen 5. In fact, there are some unique features on this handgun that I've not seen. And we're going to find out what the G19X is all about. Now guys, this review is coming to you January 2nd, 2018. These guns will not be available on dealer shelves until January 22nd. The new Glock Model 19X. Um, there are a lot of unique features about this handgun, many differences even from the Gen 5. Uh, one of the big things about this handgun is it's not actually designated as a Gen 5, it's just the 19X. So it's, there's some features on this handgun that are going to be varied from any other Glock model. Of course, being inspired by the military trials and we're getting a lot of benefit from a lot of the new things that went into this pistol. Of course, first thing we're going to do is make sure the gun is unloaded. So we're going to remove the magazine, check the chamber, and the gun is empty. The gun comes with three magazines. We have a standard 17 round magazine and then two 19 round magazines with this extended base plate. Now, as far as the grip length, here I have a standard Model 17. Uh, you can see that the grip length is the same. The big difference is, is it actually extends a little bit at the front and then you have your lanyard loop here. So it does actually extend a little farther than your Model 17. When it comes to the slide length, we're actually down to the Model 19 frame. So you're getting that little bit of a compact cut off edge right here. Now a lot of times guys like to have a longer slide and a shorter grip if you're going to conceal carry. But I'll tell you, we took this out to the range and the balance was just totally different. I love the way this gun shot uh, and I've been shooting Glock 19s, well Gl all Glocks for years. Uh, but this just had a very unique feel to it that I really liked. This does have a lot of cues from the Model 17M, which was adopted by the FBI, uh, but there are some differences as well. But this does actually fall in line more with the MSH competition with the U.S. military. The one thing that they did not include was the manual safety, which I'm glad. With the requirements of the U.S. military, it requires a safety on the frame, but here there's no safety. But there are already three safeties on the Glock pistol. One is this little trigger shoe right here that keeps the gun from firing unless there's a direct pull. Also the trigger bar itself has to be pulled in a vertical position to actuate the trigger and then also there is a striker safety as well that keeps the striker from falling so there are three separate safeties already this is just one of the military uh, standards that they like to see uh, one of the big things about this pistol that's different even than gen 5 is of course the color and you know you have your polymer what they call coyote color and then we have the slide, which the slide has been improved, an improved finish with their new MPVD slide coating. Uh, this is not any kind of Cerakote. It's not just a finish on the outside. It's actually impregnated into the metal. And it's a new process they've added to the Gen 5. And of course, it's more in the, the black color. But this is even, it even has a higher corrosion resistance and wear resistance. So, and really Glock slides are pretty 
corrosion and wear resistant already. So this is just an improved model. I love the color. It, it's actually almost a gold kind of a color to it, a little bit of a metallic to the Coyote, but it really, to me, matches with this handgun. Of course, it has most of your Gen 5 updates. There are some differences. We do have the two pins, uh, which is a difference from the three pin on the Gen 3 and Gen 4. We have the lack of finger grooves, and then we have the you know pyramid shapes all the way around the handgun, which gives it a really good grip. Uh, here toward the bottom, the magazine welt is not flared like it is on the Gen 5. Uh, and if you'll notice, we're going with the standard cut on the base plate uh, for the original uh, Model 17s in the Gen 4 and Gen 3. Here I have one of the new Gen 5 uh, base plates. You can see that it kind of comes out a little bit, whereas this goes back th to the traditional. Now, one of the reasons why it has this lip is because there was a cut in the Gen 5 right here. And that's absent on the new uh, 19X. And that was one complaint a lot of people had when they were inserting magazines. They said this is a place that you could get pinched. And then we have instead, we have it just flared out a little bit. But the magazine well itself is pretty much like the Gen 4. Uh, and of course, we do have a lanyard loop right here as a plug. Also, because of the base plate of the new Gen 5, uh, you can see it's not going to fit. It's just not going to set in that grip. And uh, this is a G19 magazine, Gen 5, but you can see that it actually comes up against that little area. So your Gen 5 magazines are not compatible with the new 19X. Another thing about these magazines and with the Gen 5 is they've done away with the cutout that shows the liner on the inside, both here and here. And so it's under there, but it's just not showing. Of course, we have our ambidextrous slide release. Uh, our mag release, of course, we can change from one side to the other, and it does have kind of a rounded edge here that the standard Gen 4 did not have that went all the way out. Uh, one thing, too, is the trigger has been improved. Uh, in fact, um, it's just a much more crisp trigger. Just that take up here, a little bit of stacking, but then a, a decent crisp snap, and I found that to be true with the standard Gen 5s. This handgun is more in line with the Model 43 upgrades, um, so there's a lot of things we'll look at when we look at it internally. Let's make sure the gun is unloaded. We're gonna check the trigger pull, no magazine. Five pounds, 2.8 ounces. We're getting about that same, just about five and a quarter to five and a half pound trigger pull. One thing we didn't check was reset. So pull the trigger. Right there, it's audible and it's tactile. One thing too is, of course, it's had the bevel on the front of the slide, like the Gen 5s. A big improvement is that they've actually matched it to the frame. <laughs> so I think they really listened. I know there was a lot of complaints about the frame kind of jutting out just a little bit, and this actually matches very nicely. Um, another big improvement is that we have night sights that come standard on this handgun and they are metal so you know that's one big complaint with a lot of people is they have the plastic sights on your glock of course here at the back and at the front a nice sight picture now not only does it lack the finger grooves but you also have four extra options for back straps and we're going to look at those in just a minute and i'm going to show you how to install it it's pretty easy uh, but this is a small grip, and that's one of the things about the military trials they required is having a grip that would be okay for female shooters and yet have the capacity to move it on up. And uh, that was one of the big things about the modularity of the handgun. The slot for the accessory rail is also matched more with the Picatinny size. And you can see here on this Glock 17, it's much smaller, and this is one of the Gen 4s. Now, the military brought in some criteria that Glock followed, and it was some of the reasons for the upgrades. But one of the things the military required is a 90% or more chance of hitting a 4-inch circle at 50 meters. And so the accuracy had to be improved. And so that's one of the things about the barrel uh, that had to be changed. So Glock introduced their marksman barrel. Now, this is not a standard rifle and groove barrel. In fact, when I first did the, the Gen 5 review, I even mentioned, because I'd seen it in a number of places, that the barrel had actual traditional lands and grooves. But that's not the case. Uh, it's an enhanced polygonal rifling. And here you can see that it's a difference between the two. Actually, when I was down at Glock, 
uh, when we they first introduced this pistol to us, they had cut barrels there and I was able to get a few photos. And then also they have a crown barrel, which definitely helps with accuracy, especially if you nick the tip of your barrel. Now recoil management was important and when we break the pistol down we'll look at the enhanced uh, recoil spring system. It's a dual recoil spring. It was actually started with the Glock 26 subcompact. Uh, then also they had to have 2,000 rounds between stoppages, 10,000 rounds between an actual part failure, and then 35,000 round service life. Now Glock flew through all of those criteria. Uh, but was beat out by the SIG P320 uh, toward the end and for whatever reasons it's, ne it's not really been released everything but Glock was right there in a close second. I want to thank Freedom Munitions for supplying the 9mm. It's their new factory stuff. You can get a 5% discount using Such00 on the Freedom Munitions website. And Lula loaders are awesome especially in cold weather. <laughs> <laughs> Got a winner. I tell you, it's hard to say that, I, that I'm excited about a Glock because it's it's a Glock, but that's that's what they should have done 30 years ago. Well, you know me, I'm honestly I'm excited about Glocks even now because yeah. I mean, in not the <clears throat> same way, you know. It's more like I'm just confident with it. Very, very. So, and you know, we put 250 rounds through that gun. Yeah. So far. And uh, no oil on it, nothing. Took it straight out of the box, brought it out here, didn't clean it, and just shot the crap out of it. And it just, it does what you expect out of a Glock, it just runs. Now I've had experience with Glocks since the beginning, since the 80s. I've been shooting Glocks. Um, usually my concealed carry is a G26. One thing about this handgun, because of the extended grip and then that shorter slide, there's something different about the balance of this handgun. Uh, it's very shootable and with the longer grip it gives you a little more confidence when firing and then you have those extended rounds. I mean you have your standard 17 round magazine but then you have the two 19 round magazines as well. So you have a lot of firepower in a fairly decent sized pistol. I mean it is longer in the grip but with the way that the G19 has been so popular um, a lot of it has to do just with the compactness of the slide. It just seems to really balance out this handgun. Most of your mass is in the slide anyway because the frames are polymer and they, they weigh hardly anything. But it really gave this pistol a great feel to it that I've not experienced with Glock. It's just a different experience when shooting. So while you may be really used to shooting the G19 or the G17, this comes in between into a totally different sweet spot. In fact, we could not quit shooting this handgun. Now, because of the Gen 5 upgrades, the trigger's better. Uh, I love the, the sights, the three-dot sights, and they are night sights. They're metal, which, again, you know, a lot of people have complained about the, the uh, plastic sights that the Glocks have. But with all the different features of this pistol, it was such a joy to shoot. Of course, one big unique thing is the box color. I mean, it has the coyote color, which is really nice. And then we have our standard Glock box. Uh, one thing about this box is there's so much in here because of these extended magazines that it's a really tight fit. Of course, as we've shown, you do get three magazines, two with your base plates that are extended. This gives you two 19 round magazines, and then you have your standard 17 round magazine. And I love this coyote color. We have four additional backstrap offerings. Of course, you have your standard grip, which comes with the smallest, and then you can add extended or even with the beaver tail. And then we have a magazine loader, bore brush, and we also have a cleaning rod. Of course, the usual gun lock and your owner's manual. Now, there are four different additional backstrap offerings for the 19X. Uh, we have two medium, large, and then we have a beaver tail with medium and large. Uh, the frame that's here is just the smallest size, so anything you add to it, uh, you know, is going to extend a little bit of the grip. Now, there's a couple of things about this that you need to realize. Uh, number one, this pin, if you're going to add any of these grip extensions, has got to be removed and replaced by a small pin that's held right here. And this is an extended pin, so you need to have this to be able to change this out to keep these grips in place. 
So we're gonna remove this pin to be able to install an extended grip. And you can take the little carrier or caddy and just push this pin through. Okay. On the grip, we have these little notches that actually fit to the back of the frame. And so we're gonna put those in first, just get them into place. Once we do, we're up here, just snap that. Now you're gonna have to put some pressure on the back of that grip. Take your pin. Uh, as you can see, it's a little tough to get in, but holding that pressure, we're gonna tap it in. You wanna make sure that it's even on both sides, which we still need to push this a little bit more. You wanna make sure that it's even on both sides, and now we have an extended grip. And that gives a nice beaver tail, uh, but it does add a little bit to the width. Then take the short pin, put it in the caddy, and you know where it is. Now for disassembly, no magazine, chamber is empty. We pull the trigger. Pull back on your slide about an eighth of an inch and take these tabs on either side and pull down and your slide comes right off. Uh, we have a recoil spring guide rod in our barrel. That's all you need to do to field strip the handgun. Uh, one thing immediately you're going to notice is the dual captured uh, guide rod. Uh, this was designed originally for the, the Model 26, which is the subcompact and uh, it really mitigated the recoil. I mean, it was a really pleasure to shoot, which surprised me with it being so small. Uh, one of the things about the military trials is they wanted to make sure that the recoil was very manageable for any skilled shooter. And so that's one of the reasons why they have this recoil spring. Then of course we have our barrel, and again, it does have the improved or marksman barrel, which is an enhanced polygonal rifling. Uh, there are a few changes made to this. But on the 19, your standard, you can put aftermarket barrels that for the Gen 4 or Gen 3 in this handgun. On the 17, it's a little bit different. Inside the slide, you can see that it retained kind of the black color on the inside. Now it has the standard Glock um, lubricant right here that will wear, wear through uh, soon enough. But uh, we put a lot of rounds through this handgun at the range. And... Um, I did wipe it down a little bit, but it held up well. Of course, one of the changes here is similar to the Model 43 with the striker safety. Uh, it's more of a beveled instead of just the round, and so it just improves safety. And this also improves the trigger pull. Of course, here with the ambidextrous slide stop, you're going to notice it's a little bit different than your traditional, but pretty much overall, and there are changes. In fact, I, we did a review between the Gen 5 and the Gen 4 and the Gen 3, a detailed review. We laid out all the parts. I'll have it annotated right here if you're interested. But uh, there are a lot of changes with these handguns uh, from the Gen 4. And of course, the internals though here are Gen 5. So for reassembly, just add our barrel, recoil spring and guide rod, back on the frame, and we're ready to go. Now, as far as all the pros and cons for this pistol, the pros are abundant. And really, I think just this review is a, you know, a testament to that because there's so many different features that Glock's put on here. Uh, you know, a lot of times guys go, well, Glock's not come up with anything new, but you know, why do we want to reinvent the wheel? Because the Glock has proven itself over the years to be a formidable force uh, in the handgun market. And there's a lot of good reasons why this is really one of the top sellers. Uh, but the only thing that I can see that would be possibly a con is that if you wanted to conceal carry it, making the grip a little longer makes it a little more difficult to conceal. But uh, other than that, this pistol really is a 10 in my opinion. I mean, there's everything about it I just love. Um, the, taking it out to the range, uh, this, this grip length with the shorter slide, again, like I said before, it just has this, it's a different feel to it and it's very pleasing. Uh, we could not quit shooting this handgun. So, uh, you know, if you like front cocking serrations, which I don't really care, uh, but that's one thing that, you know, some people might say, uh, and an ambidextrous magazine release, maybe. But as far as the pistol in itself, honestly, this is one of the most exciting pistols I've seen in a long time. If you want more information about the Model 19X, you can go to the Glock website, check out all the details. And I want to thank Glock for inviting me down to the summit, which was just really a great experience, but also for providing this pistol uh, for this test and evaluation. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic.
uh, 19X, typically. Okay, sort of, maybe. Could be, maybe, I don't know. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> this is inspired by the military trials that just happened to replace the Beretta. I already talked about all that crap. You can see the gun for these big old paws of yours. I know. All right. Kind of defeats the purpose Do of- Do that again, Rumi. <laughs> now with the four, now obviously, now, the, on the Glock G, G. Okay. That was music to my ears. <laughs> it's a little late for Christmas, but by God, we'll ring in the new year. 